Hi folks, how you doing? It's Ed Bedroska here. Listen, I've been a lifeguard for a long time, 47 years as an ocean lifeguard. And obviously after all these years, I really believe in this profession. It's something that I've taught for many, many years and I've taught thousands of lifeguards the fundamentals of becoming an ocean lifeguard, as well as the medical aspects of becoming a lifeguard. And I'm really excited to be part of this particular project. When the guys, Vince and Cody over at RSM, contacted me about putting on a master class of lifeguarding, I got really excited because frankly, the idea of imparting the stuff that I've learned and, and sharing that with the ocean community is just a really cool idea. So that's exactly what we did. I spent a long, long time putting these lectures together on everything you could possibly want to know about becoming an ocean lifeguard what lifeguards know, what lifeguards do, and the procedures that we use eliciting rescues and managing the ocean. If you have any idea that you want to become a lifeguard, I can't think of a better a resource for you than this. And you familiarize yourself with this material, you will be ultimately prepared to enter any lifeguard academy and succeed. Secondly, if you're in the military service and you are anywhere around the ocean, the skills and techniques that we cover in this course are going to be paramount to your success. And it, it's not an exaggeration to say that you can and will save lives as a result of what you will learn in this course and change the hand of fate for someone that's in an awful predicament where they're fighting for their life. If you are just an ocean lover and you want to learn more about the ocean and know what lifeguards know, again, for you, this would also be a great course. So six topics within those topics are videos, which will highlight techniques that are better seen than spoken about. The first one is the ocean environment. We're gonna be covering waves, rip currents, bathymetry, the study of the bottom, the tides and the weather. That's the fundamental of the first course. As a student of the ocean, you need to understand that environment. So we start at the basics. Number two is marine life. We're gonna talk about the entire marine ecosystem, the morphology of beaches, where sand comes from, the kelp forests, the animals, the common birds that we see that people will ask you about as a lifeguard. We'll talk about marine mammals, all the different whales and all the different cetaceans that you will have questions about. I'm gonna go into some detail on things that can hurt you in the ocean too, specifically stingrays, jellyfish, sea urchins. And then probably one of the most favorite topics that we will cover is my sharks lecture, an in-depth study of sharks, shark behavior. So much about sharks is misunderstood. Everyone's, of course, interested in the attacks on humans. So we're going to focus on the attacks on humans. There have only been 11 fatalities on the California coastline. We're going to go through those fatalities and how those people unfortunately lost their life. The next portion is the rescue recognition. We're going to teach you all the tools that you'll need to be a great lifeguard. We're going to talk about victim profiles. We're going to show you actual videos of people that are in the process of drowning. So you will actually see what a victim in distress looks like. We're going to talk about scanning methods. As lifeguards, we always say, watch the water, watch the water. Instead of that, I'm going to tell you how to watch the water, how we actually do the scanning that we do. Section four is rescue methods. And this is going to start with the most basic things about how to make a rescue with a buoy or a can, utilizing a rescue boat, utilizing a rescue watercraft, utilizing a paddle board, and then special rescue situations like working around rocks and jetties, how you extract a cervical spine victim from the water, how you handle multiple victim rescues, how you handle swift water rescue situations, and some tips on working with helicopters, which we do often. Section five is scuba emergencies. So we're gonna talk about a bit about the gear of scuba diving. We're gonna talk about signs of distress with divers. We're gonna show you how to make rescues with scuba divers. And finally, we'll talk a little bit about shallow water blackout, which is becoming more and more of a problem as more and more people are free diving in the ocean. Section six is specifically about drowning. This is where we're gonna talk about the scope of the problem in the world and in the United States. We're gonna talk about the historical treatment of drownings and how the old methods have all been replaced with brand new materials. This is cutting edge stuff that all the San Diego City lifeguards have given this exact lecture to them, as well as all the permanents for the LA County lifeguards. You're gonna get that same information from me in this course. It will go into the pathophysiology of drowning, what happens in the human body as they submerge and succumb to drowning. We're gonna talk about the latest information from the World Health Organization and how you will treat a person who you recover that has drowned because it's not what you think. And again, old methods are being thrown out and people are being saved and bodies are recovered that would normally have drowned that are being saved as a result of this exact material. 
And then finally, it's the 80 day challenge. The 80 day challenge is a prep course. Again, to become an ocean lifeguard, it is a series of progressive workouts that covers, as you can guess, an 80 day cycle. It's designed to take a rudimentary athlete and bring them to the level where they can and will succeed in a lifeguard academy. That said, if you are already a great athlete and you wanna just hone your skills, this will also be benefit to you. Why? Because we're dividing it into four areas. We are gonna be doing some fundamental swim work in a pool, fundamental running work for cardio and land stuff. And people don't realize that lifeguards actually run a lot more than they swim on a, in a given day. The third is calisthenics that are specific to upper body strength, which we all need as lifeguards. And the fourth is probably the, the most unique part. It is ocean drills that lifeguards do to hone their skills. This is working with fins, working with the buoys, getting in and out of the surf line, high stepping, dolphining, things that are very specific to our profession. So that's an overview of the course. I hope that you sign up. I hope that you enjoy it. You put uh, heart and soul into this program. And um, together with RSM, I, I hope that you enjoy it. And I, uh, I trust that you will.